everybody to begin today's lesson we're going to be starting off with order of operation so hopefully by now you know the mnemonic that represents order of operation which is PEMDAS and hopefully by now you know what each of them um, stands for so P for parentheses E for exponent which is not important at the moment and multiplication, V division, A addition, S subtraction. And remember the rule for between multiplication, division, and then subtraction. And then, um, in addition, we go left to right, but parentheses is always first. And in today's order of operation, we're going to be including some multiplication now. It's all the same process, um, but you know, there's kind of a new concept, which is you know, multiplication. So let's try number one together. So simple, remember P for pen, P is the parentheses, so we're going to be doing the parentheses first. So three times two x six. And let me just get a good color, sorry for that. This is six. And so now it's three plus six which is nine. Let's try one more. Let's try something on number five. So let's just solve the parentheses first, which is multiplication. So three times three is nine. Let's just bring everything down now. Um, so we get rid of that and now it's nine. So let's go left to right. So 10 plus two first, which is 12 minus nine, which is three. Moving on, um, this is some multiplication and division. So just like my other um, lessons, look like the other lessons, I'm not going to be going over this. But once again, a reminder that multiplication and division, um, at least at three columns, is very important to know um, at the back of your head. head um, and I think by now, you should slowly be able to time yourself um and maybe if you already start timing yourself try to shorten the time you know as much as you can of course in the last movie, um has a cable as you are able to so we're going to be moving on to measuring so now we're going to be measuring with halves so as you can see here in number one there are or so let's focus on one specific area so we see that there is a number, so with zero one, there's a long line and two short ones. This long line represents the half because if you can kind of imagine it, you know, it's kind of like a rectangle and it basically is pretty equal, but um that's just a quick explanation or um simple way to see as to why these are halves, the long lines are halves. So let's so let's measure number one. So we're going in inches. And let's first determine how many whole numbers we definitely pass when it comes to the arrow here. So we definitely pass one, two, three, four, five. We definitely pass until five. And and as you can see, this arrow is pointed at the half, the 0 0.5. And since this 0 0.5 is between five and six, it hasn't hit six yet. So which means that your whole number is five, but you're also gonna get a half of a half between the five and six. So your answer is five and a half inches. Lastly, um, we're going to be doing the problem. So let's try number one together. Rito has tomato plants in his backyard. You see that the plants grew 127 tomatoes. The birds had eaten 19 and 23 tomatoes. Oh, birds had eaten 19 and 23 tomatoes have been eaten by birds. You pick the rest. How many tomatoes did Harito pick? So there are two ways to solve this problem. And we're going to try both ways. And Leanne is going to get the same answer. Um, and the time it takes really is similar, but, um, nevertheless, 
the first option is just to divide the two numbers separately. So let's so this is the total. And we're first going to be taking away 19 because birds had eaten tomatoes. So first 127 minus 19. Which if we just kind of align it, you get eight. A hundred and eight. So 108 tomatoes are left. And now we subtract another 23 tomatoes because they had been ruined by birds. So we're going to subtract that. And you get a total of 85 tomatoes left. Another way you can solve this problem is to find the total of the ruin slash tomato slash the tomatoes that had been gotten rid of pick. So which is once again the numbers 19 and 23. And that is equal to 42. And then from 42, you use 42 to subtract. So once again, we had to throw 127 tomatoes, and the total of ruined tomatoes were 42. So let's just subtract that. And once again, you get 85 tomatoes. So I'm just going to split this up. So you see, you get the same answers. One way maybe is easier for you, and one isn't. Um, but yeah, let's try one more using one method. method. Let's try number three. Cole and Bryson want a video game ride. Cole won 152 tickets. Bryson won 84 tickets. They want to put their tickets together to get a large toy monkey that costs 300 tickets. How many more tickets do they need? So. I want to use the addition method because I think it's I think it's a good um, method to try to utilize as many operate mathematical operations as possible. So first, let's find out how many tickets the two boys want. So, under two plus eighty four, and when you calculate that. Get two hundred forty-six. Okay, and now you got the total of one tickets. You want to find the, you're going to subtract from the total that they need. So they need three hundred, and you minus whatever they have, and then you get a hundred and fifty-four more tickets you need to earn. I hope this all makes sense and thank you for listening.